Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. Uh, this video today is going to explain to you how to view the blockchain space as a whole. We're not going to talk about individual coins. We're going to talk about the ecosystem of blockchain. We're going to talk about how to evaluate what you want to invest in and how do you do that? How do you make that decision? Well, I think the market makes it for you. I'm a firm believer in stock charts. If you've watched any other of my videos, you're going to be shocked that this probably won't include one chart. I may try to, I may sneak one in, but um, this is not a charting video. This is a, basically a fundamental video on how you should view investing in the blockchain and where you should put your capital to work. Now, the market is telling you something if you actually pay attention here. In the top 20 coins, there are only two types of coins. That's it. Two types of coins outside of outside of these outside of these two, and uh, icon outside of these three. There's only two types of coins. There's a, a transactional coin and a functional coin. Okay, and the functional coins are the ones that actually will run the backbone of blockchain. Now we use blockchain like this synonymous term, um, like it's one thing, but it's not. Each of these coins runs their own individual blockchain. They have advantages and disadvantages, and they're at different stages of development. For instance, um, Ethereum's been out for a couple of years now. It has apparently a very good app, which I haven't seen yet, called CryptoKitties. But the downside to CryptoKitties is it got really popular, and when it got really popular, it crashed the entire Ethereum blockchain. I don't remember for how long, but it crashed it. That can't happen, folks. Um, but this is still very, very early adoption phase. And just for just for a bit of comparison, let's look at Cardano's roadmap, the $33 billion coin, the Phenom, that is Cardano. This is their roadmap. This is what they want their coin to do. Feel free to check it out, cardanoroadmap.com. <clears throat> um, and if you look at everything they want to do, they have their, their main net launched, but outside of that, they have all these other things that they want to do, and none of them are done. None of them are close to done. Many of these are under 50% complete. I mean, there's only, what, two things that are 50% or over complete? I mean, so these are still in their infancy. Still in their infancy, they're, they're throwing money around, they're trying to get these coins to hold on to them so they can own more of this network. That's what they're trying to do. Cardano is a proof of stake, and if you're not familiar with proof of work versus proof of stake, I'll sum it up simply for you. In order to get Bitcoin, you have to ha own a computer that runs the Bitcoin algorithm. It uses electricity, it runs that algorithm, and if you're lucky enough to solve a Bitcoin problem known as a block, you get Bitcoin. In Cardano, they have a proof of stake, where all you do is own Cardano, hold it in a wallet, and then you're allowed to basically manage the network at that point, but you only have to hold the coin, you don't have to solve an equation, you don't have to mine, okay? It's a proof of your stake in the network, not a proof of your working the network. So they're hodling Cardano, and these are big money people, because if you look at the chart of Cardano, um, it's just nothing but people buying and holding and holding and holding, okay? No one's selling Cardano, no one is. <clears throat> now Ethereum may be going to that proof of stake, um, but I'm not gonna get too too much in the weeds with in the weeds with that. The whole point is is this, is that these are very infant networks. I don't even think um, Cardano has one app that's being used on it. I know Ethereum has a few. Cardano, I don't even think has one really viable app worth $33 billion. But once this guy gets up and going, hey, you know, maybe it's $500 billion, maybe it's a trillion dollars. This is the network, guys. So after they hash this out, after they hash out what networks that, that are, more than likely to be used, then they're going to go from what is the blockchain to what do you do with the blockchain? Because Ethereum doesn't do anything. Cardano doesn't do anything. NEM, Stellar, IOTA, Tron, they don't do anything. They allow you to do stuff. So now, out of these top 20 coins, these are the only three that are not networks and are not transactional. So <clears throat> Rayblox, Icon, and then you get down into Omisego, okay? You get down into, I don't know what a lot of these do to be honest with you, but then you get down into a lot of these that are um, kind of projects built on other networks, okay? So I'm gonna get to one, come on. 
I know Amisago is, but I, I keep going back to Amisago. So Amisago is built on the Ethereum blockchain. All right, the reason why Omisigo hasn't been running, in my opinion, is because it's less valuable than Ethereum itself. So why would you invest in Omisigo when you can invest in Ethereum that will run Omisigo? Because if Ethereum fails, Omisigo fails, period. If Ethereum has hack after hack after hack, then Omisigo is worth nothing. It's going to be literally pointless. So there you go. Um, you're gonna want to put your time and effort researching the blockchains researching the pros and the cons, researching what's a good value, researching the new ICOs for new blockchains. Keep in mind Cardano ICO'd October 1st, and it's now number five, okay? That's gonna happen again. That will happen again, and are you gonna be in on it, okay? Are you going to be in on it? Now, how do you invest with this? How, how do you take this strategy and make it work? Well, number one, you have to own some of these some of these coins, you have to own some Ethereum, Cardano, NEM. I think you own many of these, maybe not all of them, but you have to own a lot of them. Um, so you can just at least go up with the market cap itself of the overall cryptocurrency space. So you have to own those, okay? And then you can look into you can look into your smaller blockchains, all right? That are actually gonna that are actually newer chains that will be running these blockchains. So there's one recently that came out called R-Chain, okay? Me personally, I'm looking for coins that are recent ICOs, very low market cap, that may have the capability to go 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 50 times that we've seen um, in the blockchain. We've seen that with um, Ethereum earlier this, or last year, earlier last year, and we've seen this in a couple other of these. We've seen ADA go up massive percentages, and that's only going to continue, but you have to get these early, and you have to take speculative positions in them. But I think the majority of your holdings has to be with these larger blockchains, because Ethereum at $100 billion isn't done. Ripple just shot up from basically $8 billion to $138 billion in almost no time. Um, it's just been quite fascinating watching Ripple go up. This shows you what a working blockchain can do for a valuation. Ripple had an issue where they held like 50% of the coins and the market wasn't sure if they were going to distribute those coins or how they were going to manage that huge position. Once that was established, Ripple shot up. That was the catalyst for the huge run in Ripple. So you're seeing once people have faith in a in a blockchain, what it can do. So you have to look for the for the early signs of um, people buying and using the network. So to that point, here's the chart that I'm going to sneak in here because I am a chartist. And what I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is how do you spot someone buying um, a blockchain? Well, we go from extraordinary, extraordinarily flat action where everyone hated Stellar Lumens. It was a dead coin. It did nothing. And then early October, you saw a flurry of volume come in. Okay? And this is where you can start paying attention. And if you're only focusing on these particular types, these platform coins, if you're only focusing on these platform coins, then you feel much stronger holding even a five to 10% position in your portfolio. And so from October to now it's January, that's only two months. It's been two months. And if that's too long for you to hold, um, you need to change your perspective, 6,000%. 6,000% because this isn't um, this isn't pay this isn't 10x okay this is a platform coin this is the blockchain you're investing in the blockchain here you're not investing in some silly app let's go to ADA let's take a look at ADA who's still having a massive run okay let's look at the volume in ADA okay well they ICO'd over here in October so depending on where you wanted to call it a buy Maybe it was this volume, maybe it was this volume, maybe it was this volume, okay? So let's just call it from this volume right here. Say you saw volume come in here. What percentage of ADA would have taken you 33 days? 2,200%. 2,200% in 33, 34 days, something like that. 38 days. 2,200%. What if you held all these other blockchains, okay? What if you held Ethereum? What if you held NEM? What if you held um, IOTA? What if you held NEO and you only had those two as your speculative plays? You would be up massive because keep in mind, IOTA's gone up four or 500%. Okay, NEO's gone up 
I mean, all of these coins are going up. Some are going to moon like mad, but the others are still going to go up 50, 100, 200%. Okay, so I think you got to hold on to those coins, guys. I think you got to hold on to those coins. Give them time to run once you see the market coming into the coin. So it's a very specific type of trading with very good understanding of what you're investing in, um, very good technical analysis, and also knowing when to get out because at some point these coins are going to crash. Let's go back to this chart and take a look at Ethereum. And keep in mind, folks, this will happen. All right? This will happen. If my chart wants to load. Let's go to the daily chart on Ethereum. So Ethereum, the boy wonder, up 5,000%. And not loading. Apologize about that. All right, here we go. So Ethereum went up 5,000%. Picture this as stellar lumens right now, okay? One huge base, two huge bases, then an almost parabolic move straight up, all right, on the daily chart, almost straight up. And then guess what? Guess what it pulled back? 69%, okay? Do you hold through that pullback? That's up to you. Now, it did come back, but it did take a number of months. And this is where understanding charts and price action can pay off because you can take profits. That's something you can do in crypto, but you have to understand how to do that. That's the art to investing and the art to trading is to buy, hold, and sell. You've got to sell at some point, guys. You've got to sell at some point. Say you've been holding Bitcoin this entire time. All right? I told you guys I'm a chartist. Say so you've been holding Bitcoin this entire time and it's been running, running, running and you've been holding it for a year. You got this thing at $1,000. It's at $20,000. Do you still hold it or do you sell it? You know, that's a choice that you have to make as an individual, but you're going to have the opportunity to make that informed decision by understanding charts and understanding price behavior because what you're investing in is just something sitting here on a chart, guys. I hate to tell you that. And there's a lot of Bitcoin lovers out there, but what you're investing in is something that other people are valuing within this chart, within the marketplace. It's not worth what you think it's worth. It's worth what they will pay for it. So, you know, do you hodl? Do, are you going to hold this forever? That's perfectly fine. But if you want to get your, your best bang for the buck, maybe you sell um, on the second pop towards 20000 You know, then maybe you rebuy when it's down 40%, 50%. I mean, say you bought there and sold there or sold here and bought here, you know, maybe you bought more, I don't know. Um, but there you go, guys, that's, I believe, how you play the cryptocurrency market. You stay within, you stay within the platform coins, you pl stay within the plat platform coins, you know, you know, plus or minus Bitcoin, I, that's your choice, not mine. Um, but these platform coins are the future, and once they have that hashed out, guys, then it's the race to find the best app on those blockchains. But until the blockchain part is hashed out, um, I say you stay away from all these other little ones, except for a couple trading pops here and there. But I think you need to focus your energy, and I think you need to focus your major investing in your portfolio in the blockchain here, guys. All right, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video. Please like the video if you like the video. And I will see you in the chat room. Bye-bye.